Hi, I'm Xanthi Roberts from The Weekly, and this is our step-by-step -step guide to sushi, which is a great school or work lunch, and it's really easy to do at home. So today we're using brown rice instead of the traditional white rice for a healthy twist. So to get started, place the rice and water in a large bowl and just rinse it with your fingers. Wash several times until the water is almost clear. Drain the rice and wash again. Then allow the rice to drain for about 15 minutes. Then place the rice and three and a half cups of water in a medium saucepan, cover tightly and bring to the boil. Once it's come to the boil, reduce the heat and simmer for 25 minutes. While the rice is cooking, make the sushi vinegar by combining all the ingredients in a small jug. So that's a quarter of a cup of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of mirin. Okay. Then stir to combine. So once the rice is cooked, spread the hot rice into a large non-metallic dish. With a spatula, cut through the rice at a sharp angle to break up any lumps. Then gradually pour in the sushi vinegar. The sushi vinegar flavours the rice with those quintessential Japanese flavours. So once the sushi vinegar has been all incorporated into the rice, we need to cool the rice down quickly. And an easy way to do that is with a fan, either handheld or electric. So once the rice is cool, we can roll up our sushi. Add two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar to a small dish of water. Then to start rolling, get your seaweed sheet and make sure you place it shiny side down. So there's a distinctly rough side and a shiny side. So shiny side down, and then place about a quarter of the rice on top of the seaweed sheet. Dipping your hands in the water as you go. Then pat out the rice, leaving a border at either end of the seaweed. Then using your thumb, make a long indentation across the length of the rice, about two centimeters from the end. This is to keep the filling in place. So today we're using teriyaki, cucumber and carrot for our filling, but you can use whatever fillings you like. Some salmon and avocado or tuna fish are other great options. Pick up the edge of the bamboo mat closest to you and using your other fingers to hold the filling in place, firmly but gently roll the sushi over, pressing as you go to make sure it all holds in place. Your first couple of rolls might not be perfect, but once you've done a few, it's really easy. So we've used up all of our ingredients and made our four sushi rolls. And then just before serving, cut each roll into six pieces. It helps to start from the middle and work out so that you get even sized pieces. So there we have our brown rice sushi. So serve these with some wasabi and pickled ginger and a little bit of soy sauce. Enjoy.